Goodbye, football team originally appeared on NBC Sports Washington for the past two seasons, the NFL has housed 31 football teams and one football team. Now, come Wednesday, that one football team will become something else, as Washington is set to unveil its next name and officially move on from the temporary one it played under since July 2020, before that transition is finalized, though, it's worth saying goodbye to the very literal label that seemed to grow on so many during its brief run. When the franchise opted to lease football team instead of buying a more permanent brand a couple of summers ago, the choice was largely clowned, just like most of the actions that Washington takes. As LeBron James sarcastically put it when the news first broke, they had a thorough intense long board meeting about that one. But thanks to a combination of factors, including unique helmets, solid logos, the arrival of figures like Ron Rivera and Chase Young and a postseason appearance, a large. While the subsequent 2021 campaign didn't produce the same amount of positive vibes that 2020 did, it was yet another year for everyone to grow accustomed to the WFT. In fact, a noticeable portion of supporters actually wants Washington to let football team live on as opposed to changing up once again. Putting a true percentage on that group's size is difficult, but it did absolutely expand over the past 18 plus months. Of course, Wednesday's transformation ultimately makes sense and needs to occur, for reasons both major and minor. Despite the increased acceptance of football team, it was always going to feel like the equivalent of replacing one remote's batteries with those from another remote. At some point, fresh batteries are required, and Washington's decision makers are about to return from the store. Aside from the importance of starting completely anew, the upcoming name will be far more practical than its predecessor. TV networks and various websites still haven't settled on whether to use Washington or football team on their scoreboards or in their graphics, and referring to a star like Terry McLaurin as a underscore and not a football teamer will be a welcome privilege.